Hi everyone, welcome you all. This is Pavan from SDT channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss about Jasmine, which is JavaScript unit testing framework. Normally, uh, every programming language is having uh, unit testing tools. Like for example, if I take Java, we have a JUnit and TestNG frameworks available. And similarly for JavaScript, we also have a different type of uh, unit testing frameworks are available. For example, let's say Mocha, Jasmine, Karma, Cypress, Puppeteer, Chai, all these are unit testing frameworks are available in the market to test JavaScript code. And why we need to learn J Jasmine here is because the protractor uh, internally uses Jasmine framework to automate the test cases in protractor. So that's the reason we need to know Jasmine basics. So what is Jasmine? So Jasmine is basically a unit testing framework to test JavaScript code. And Jasmine is a behavior driven development framework for testing JavaScript code. And why unit testing framework is required on Protractor because in Protractor is basically used to interact with the AngularJS elements. But on top of it, we need to do a lot of other things. We need to manage our uh, test cases, test suits, and uh, sometimes we need to execute only specific number of test cases, so grouping of test cases, skipping the test cases, all these things we need to do that. So to perform all these things, we need uh, a kind of a framework. So especially Jasmine is providing all these uh, uh, features. So Jasmine doesn't depend on any other JavaScript framework and Jasmine doesn't need any DOM means a uh, document object model. So if, if you go for any other frameworks, uh, basically those frameworks ba works based upon the DOM structure of the uh, web page. But Jasmine doesn't need any DOM and Jasmine framework is very clean and understandable. Everybody can easily understand the code and Jasmine is an open source framework. We don't need to buy anything and it can easily manage and control our test script. So because of all these uh, features, we choose Jasmine as a framework, unit testing framework, especially for JavaScript code. And even Protractor also internally using Jasmine framework to automate our test cases. Now to learn the Jasmine, so first we need to understand uh, uh, what are the uh, test building blocks provided by Jasmine. So they are called Jasmine test building blocks. So the basic blocks are like a describe block, it block and before each, after each, before all, after all. So these are the different uh, blocks which are available in Jasmine framework. And to work with the Jasmine, we need to know how to work with these building blocks. And apart from this, there are also some other building blocks uh, we have. I will discuss them in the coming videos. And uh, as a first step, we need to understand uh, these uh, blocks. First, let us start with the describe and it block. So what exactly describe and it block? And uh, to understand this, so we need to understand uh, one concept here. That is, let me just open my notepad. So normally, uh, whenever you are working with any automation tools, right? So we have a test case file. So we will have a test case file. Right? The test case file contains a test case file. So test case is nothing but it's a collection of actions, right? So in the test case, we will have multiple actions. And uh, again, test to suit we have. Test suit contains a multiple test cases. So test suit contains a multiple test cases. Every test case contains the actions. So this is the hierarchy we follow. Let's say suit contains a, let's say test case one, and let's say test case two, and so on, right? So these are my test case two. So this is my test case two contains actions. So similarly, I can write any number of test cases inside the suit. So this is the hierarchy we follow. So test suite contains the test cases. Each test case contains the actions or we can say steps actions or we can say steps right and similarly uh, if you go for java so if you are aware of java uh, selenium using test ng framework so there also will maintain the same thing so we will create a uh, test case test case as a class file right so test case we have a class file this is a test ng class file we'll create and inside this we will create the test method so let's say test method one and test method two and so on so in each and every test method, we will write the steps. So some steps will include here. Test method two is also having steps here. So the same hierarchy we will follow. So here test case contains a test method and every test method will do certain uh, validations and uh, to perform those validations, we'll include some steps here. And the same thing we need to all follow, we need to also follow in the Jasmine. So in the Jasmine, we call them as a spec file. So normally the spec file extension will be .js is a JavaScript file. So in spec file, we can create multiple suits. And uh, here we are representing the suit by using describe block. 
we can call it as a describe block. Describe this block which is representing one suit. And one spec file can have any number of describe blocks. Let's say this is describe block one and which contains a multiple tests. So every test is representing with it block. Let's say it block one. Let's say it block one. And uh, let's say it block two. So it block two and so on. So we can write any number of it blocks in inside one describe block. And similarly, we can write n number of describe blocks in one spec file. So in one spec file, we can create any number of describe blocks. So this is basically hierarchy uh, which we need to follow in the Jasmine framework. So a spec file is a .js extension file and this file we are going to execute using protractor. And inside the file, we can have one or multiple describe blocks and each describe block can have one or multiple it blocks. So here spec file is basically a file which contains a multiple describe blocks and every block is every describe block is representing one test suite and inside this every it block is representing one test. So here we in the test engine test cases we create test methods. So similarly here which is exactly equal to it blocks. Every it block is equal to one test method. So this is exact hierarchy we will follow in the Jasmine framework. So spec file, spec file contains a multiple describe blocks and inside the describe block we can have multiple it blocks. So let me just show you practically how we can manage these uh, describe and it blocks. Let's go to uh, Visual Studio Code and here under test cases, we already have a con folder which you have created in the previous videos. So I'm just creating a new uh, spec file. So as I said spec file here, which is having .js as an extension. So that I'm going to create first. So right click new file and here I will name it as uh, Jasmine test blocks one dot JS. So the file extension should be dot JS. As soon as I created uh, one spec file and currently it is empty. So now we can write any number of the, any number of uh, describe blocks and every describe block contains a it block. So describe block is representing the suit. It block is representing the test. So test case. So let me just write uh, one basic stuff. So we need to start with the describe block. Let me write describe, describe. And when I say describe, we need to pass two arguments. One is a suit name. Let's say my suit and say uh, my suit. And the second argument will be the function. So the function this is a single function. And inside that function, we need to write n number of it blocks. So now I'm writing one it block which contains a test. Let's say it, uh, we can say it, and it is also taking two arguments. So here I'll say uh, my test. So this is representing the test and we, the test should be implemented in the function. So we need to create a function here like this. So now this is my describe block and which is taking two argument. The first argument is the name of the suit and the second argument is a function where we need to implement the suit and inside this function we can create multiple it blocks so the it block uh, name is this one and this uh, this is representing one test and that test steps we need to implement in the function so here we need to write the actions or steps we need to implement right so this is a one describe is having one it block and similarly, let's say this is my test one. So similarly, I can also create multiple it blocks. Let's say this is my test two and this is my test three. So something like this. So we can write all the steps inside this it blocks. So here one describe can have multiple it blocks. Each and every it block representing one test. Now one spec file can also have multiple describes. So for example, uh, what I can do is I have one describe file which contains a two it blocks. Suppose I want to create one more describe. You can just copy the another describe block. So one spec file can also have multiple describe. And let us say this is my suit one and this is my suit two. And here my uh, test one, my test two here is there. And inside the test suit two, I have my test one and my test two. So one spec file can have multiple describe blocks, which is representing the test suite. And each describe block can have multiple it blocks. Each it block is representing one test. Okay, so this is the hierarchy exactly we need to follow in Jasmine framework. Now, so we understood what is exactly describe and it block. So currently I will maintain one describe for now. So let me just write uh, 
some steps here. So here I'm just writing a simple message. I'll say console.log. So this message will be printed in the terminal itself. So here I'm writing uh, this is my test one. Okay, this is my test one, and this is a simple statement I have written. And uh, similarly, in the in the second it block also I have written something. Let's say this is my test two. So this is how we need to write a, a simple test in Jasmine framework. Start with the describe block, and inside this we have a multiple it blocks. Every it block is representing one test. So how to run this test? How to run this complete uh, describe block and all other it blocks? So we need to run this uh, spec file through conf.js. So we need to remember this name. We need to copy this name, Jasmine test blocks. And uh, we can simply say Jasmine test blocks one and copy this name and go to conf.js and specify the same name inside the specs. So we already discussed about conf.js earlier. So which contains the configuration like uh, here, this configuration direct connect to means it will automatically start uh, Selenium and this is the browser where our test cases will execute and internally will follow Jasmine and here we need to specify the spec files Right, so this is the name of the spec file I have mentioned and then I can run the spec file through terminal So just go to the terminal open the new terminal and here we need to give the command called protractor protractor and uh, In the con folder in the con folder my file name is conf.js. I need to run so conf.js so this will run our test. So the currently in my spec file, we have only one describe block, which contains a two it blocks. So let me run this. Now it is running my, it is also launching my browser, but currently I'm not, uh, I haven't written any code for uh, automation. So it's just launching the browser, closing the browser. So now we can see this. When I run my uh, spec file, it is saying it is printed two messages. This is my test one. This is my test two. Totally two specs have executed. So every it block is considered as one test, right? So this is in the Jasmine, we can call it as a one spec. So describe block can contains multiple specs. So each it block is representing a spec. And what spec file contains here? The spec file contains a multiple describes. The spec file contains a spec file in the sense .js, JavaScript file. So which contains a multiple describes. Every describes contains a multiple it blocks. So every it block, we can call it as a one spec. So currently I have a two it blocks. So it is saying two specs, there are no failures. So this is how we need to create a very basic test in the Jasmine. So describe and it block. Now let us understand the uh, uh, rest of the blocks. Let's say before each, after each, before all and after all. Let's see how we can use this. So to understand this, uh, I'm just slightly modifying this. So here I have a describe block. So inside the describe block, I'm just going to uh, change something here. So let's say describe, there's a my suit. And inside this, uh, the first it block, uh, I will perform the search test. Let's say this is my search test. And let me just write a simple message here instead of writing the automation code for now. Let us understand uh, all the blocks, then we will implement the code. So this is a search test. Right, so this is my search test and uh, after this in here in the second it block I'll test uh, advanced search I'll say this is my advanced search so same message I'm printing here itself this is my advanced search test so now I have a one suit which contains the two it blocks this one and this one and uh, the first it block will perform the search test second it block will perform the advanced search now let us go to conf.js and we specify the same spec file, right? Now let us execute uh, through terminal. So let me just go to the terminal and new terminal. Now I'm running my protractor test. I'll say protractor conf.js. So now observe this and it is also launching my browser. And uh, so now we can see uh, there are two it method or it blocks I've executed. So this is my search test. This is my advanced search test. This is small spelling mistake. So this is my advanced advanced search test. All right. So both the blocks I've executed successfully. Perfectly fine. So one describe can have multiple it blocks. So now I will show you how to use before each and after each. What is before each block and what is after each block? 
So sometimes uh, the scenario will be like this. Suppose before executing these two blocks or before executing search test or before executing advanced edge, I want to do some, uh, I want to execute some steps which are prerequisites. So for example, let us say I have an application. So in my application, I want to test search and advanced search functionality. But before doing the search, first of all, I need to log into application. So that's a prerequisite. So once I log into the application, then I can do the search and advanced search. That's a prerequisite. So here my requirement is I want to execute a login before every it block. That means I want to log into the application before the first it block and then before advanced search. Two times I want to log into application. So what I can do is instead of writing the login test login script in every block multiple times, I can just write only one block and that block I will execute multiple times before every it block is started. So that is basically representing the before each. So what is before each block is and this particular block will execute multiple times before executing every it block. So what I'm saying is before executing search test and advanced search, I want to execute one more block. So I'm creating one more block here. Let us say this is uh, before each and after each. Let's say before each and this is before each. So this is before each and we, we need to pass a function also function and this is a syntax which we need to follow. So in this block before each block, I will write some statements. Let us say console.log and uh, this is login. Let's say login. Fine. So now when I say before each, this particular block will execute multiple times before every it block. So that is a functionality of the before. That's a functionality of the before each. So what does before each block will do is this particular before each block will execute multiple times before every it block is executed. So what does that mean is before doing the search test login will execute before doing the advanced search again login will execute. So before each method or before each block will execute multiple times before every it block. So let us execute and see. So let me just go to terminal and here I am running same command. Now just observe the output here. Yeah. So now we can see uh, here started. So this is a login and this is a search test. Again, this is a login and advanced search. So login is executed two times before every it block. So you can see here before it block once, once it is executed and before second, before starting the second it block again, one more time it is executed. So twice it is executed. So similarly, if I have a 10 it blocks, so this method will execute 10 times before executing every it block. So that is a functionality of before each. And similarly, we have also after each. So this particular block will execute multiple times after completion of every it block. So for example, if I see the same example here, before each will execute multiple times before every test method starts. Similarly, after completion of every it block, I want to log out from application. So I want to execute one more block after completion of every it block. So then I can write one more block here. Instead of before each, I can write after each block. So I'll say after each. So let me just remove this before. I'll say after each. So before each method will perform the login. And after each method, I will perform the logout. Logout from application. So now what happens is before executing first it block, before each method will execute, before each block will execute. That's a login. After completion of this, logout will execute. Again, before executing a second it block, before each block will execute. After completion of a second it block, after each block will execute. So it will be like this. Suppose for example, I have, so I have it block one, I'll say it block two. So here the login will execute and here logout will execute. So two times again, before starting the second it block again, login will execute and again logout will execute. So this is how uh, these two blocks will execute. So before block, before each and after each. So these two blocks will execute before and after every it block in the describe section. And these blocks also should be included inside the describe.
so that is the functionality of before each after each so before each executes multiple times before executing every it block after each block will execute again multiple times after executing every it block now let us execute and see the output save it and go to terminal and new terminal and here i can say same command i'm executing now you can see here it is running my it blocks all right so now we can see the output so first login is executed search test and logout so this is before each and this is after each then again uh, login is executed before each and it block and then after each so before and after every it block we can execute this method so before each and after each so what we understood based on this is before each block will execute multiple times before executing every it block after each block will execute multiple times after a completion of every it block so that is the functionality of before each block and after each block similarly we have before all and after all so before all block will execute only one time before executing all the it blocks so that is the functionality of the that is the functionality of the before all after all so suppose i want to execute something which is uh, first before starting all the it blocks and similar is for example let's say uh, to perform the login i need to launch my application and i will launch my application only one time after executing all the it blocks finally i want to close my application only one time opening my application closing my application so for that what i can do is i can write one more block here which will execute only one time so that is before all block i'll say before all block and this will also take the function as an argument function and specify the function and inside this we need to write the code let me just say console.log and here i simply i'll say so this is or else i can say launching my application launching app right so this particular uh, block will execute only once before executing all the it blocks only once okay and similarly i will create another another block like uh, after all i'll say after all let's say after all so this particular block will execute only one time after completion of all the it blocks not multiple times only one time after completion of all the it blocks so here i am closing my app see this so closing my app this is the exact scenario so closing app so first before all will execute and launching my application then rest of the it blocks will execute and at the end again after all block will execute so this is the hierarchy so what before all and after all is before all method uh, before all blocks will execute only one time before executing all it blocks similarly after all block will execute only one time after completion of all it blocks so now let us execute and see save it go to terminal once again and run the command so it is launching browser and closing browser because we configured the browser in the con.js so now we can see the output here so this is exact output see this launching app is executed only one time that is before all and after all so closing app this is also executed only one time after completion of all the blocks so closing app is executed at the end and uh, what are the actual it blocks so search test and advanced search these are the only actual it blocks so here again uh, before each and after each is executed before and after every it block so this is exact hierarchy Uh, which will execute all the blocks so the first block is describe block which will representing the suit and one spec file can contains multiple describe blocks and every describe block can have it blocks so multiple it blocks can have so every it block is representing one test so when i create a block before each block this particular block will execute multiple times before every it block is started and after each block will execute multiple times after completion of every it block before all block will execute only one time before it blocks started after all block will execute only one time after completion of all it blocks so these are the few blocks are available in the jasmine uh, framework and uh, in the next video i will discuss a few more uh, blocks which are also very very important 
uh, to write our protracted test cases using Jasmine. All right. So that's all for this video, guys. So we'll see you in the next video. So thanks for watching.